Okay. Selamat pagi. Selamat pagi semua and uh, a very good morning. Uh, welcome to the celebration of Minggu Sains Negara 2021. Yeah. So, um, I am Ramesh from Stand for All Makerspace and I am pleased to host this very first event in conjunction with Minggu Sains Negara. Right. We have a very a distinguished speaker, we're very honored to have Dr. Maha, whom I will introduce to you in a short while. But firstly, I'd like to show or let you know about Mingu Science Negara itself, you know, what's happening and how important this event is, okay? So, semua murid-murid uh, dan guru and also some parents who are tuned to our, ch our, ch our channel on the Stand for All Makers Place, please stay tuned, yeah? All right, uh, I'll take you through just three slides to tell you what Mingu Science is about, right? Uh, and what activities we have lined up. Uh, Daryl, can we switch to the uh, slides? Great, all right? Students, you can view this in, your, in the video, right? So, Mingu Science Negara is a very, very significant event by the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, okay? And this has been done for many, many years with the simple objective of promoting greater interest, okay, minat dalam bidang science. Sekarang kita panggil STEM, Science, Technology, Innovasi, uh, Science, Technology, Mathematics, dan Engineering. Okay, so that's a very important area and today you will see why it is so important because we have got a few speakers lined up to, to, to let you know uh, the scope and also the job opportunities that you can explore right so mingo science is for that purpose but most importantly mingo science is also a time to have fun right science is very very interesting okay there's lots of projects lots of activities and lot of challenges uh, in a very fun way we don't want you to be stressed up because sekarang cuti sekolah kan and uh, you know so you're supposed to be relaxing uh, so we're giving you a lot of interesting projects and quizzes for you to explore so you can see in our slide, we have one major event. In fact, this is our anchor event. It is called Virtual STEM Olympiad MSN 2021. So it's a pretty Olympics, tapi ini Olympics untuk maths, untuk science, untuk engineering, right? So every day we'll have a challenge. All you have to do is log in uh, to this, um, what you call the sites that we have shared with you. Many of you have already registered. And every day you'll receive an update. Today the challenge is what? All right, I'll explain to you later what the challenges are about. But as you can see in the slide, and many of you have already received, but if you have not received it, please go on to the websites that are given there. You can go to Mosti's website, you can go to STEM for All's Facebook, and you'll find the links for you to join and participate in the events that we have lined up. All right, so just to quickly let you know the opportunity that we are offering you is called the STEM virtual olympiad from the 1st to the 7th of april so you just have to log in and there'll be lots of interesting questions for you to do online and most importantly we have got very attractive prizes so every day you win prizes grand prize will be on the seventh day so accumulatively all the 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 the, the, the participants have been consistent your marks will be accumulated and the at the grand we have a grand celebration or a grand event and you will stand to chance, uh, 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 you will also win drones. Okay, we have a lot of STEM kids, we've got cash prizes, so just log in and you'll see what you can win. Alright, uh, so that's our STEM Olympiad and uh, I'll show you another major anchor event that we have planned. Uh, this is webinar and video series called The Science Behind. All right. So science behind all the very important and interesting topics. For example, today we have the science behind vaccine, okay? uh, in particular COVID-19. And that's where Dr. Maha will take us through to talk about what's being developed and what's the science behind this vaccine. The, then on the fourth, that is on Sunday, we have an intelligent world. On the fifth, we have engineering the future. And on the sixth, we have space exploration. All, right, all these videos or webinars will also be uploaded into our YouTube and will be part of the quizzes. So even if you miss any of it, you can still watch the video and participate in the quizzes. Okay, 
interesting. So we try to make it as simple and as enjoyable as possible for all our students. Right? So these are the two major events that you can look forward and this is brought to you by STEM for All Makerspace in collaboration with all our STEM partners. Okay. Right? Um, before I pass to Dr. Maha, I'll tell you please stay on because I will try to take you to a tour of the National Institute of Biotechnology, Malaysia. All right, there's a very interesting tour. I know we can't travel very much because of this pandemic, but we can do a 360 tour. You can look at some of the equipment that they have, some of the fantastic researches uh, that is being done. Right, so that will be at the end of Dr. Maha's presentation. Right, so with that, I would like to introduce to you uh, the very first topic that we have planned, uh, that we have already scheduled, all the planning, all the, the, the lama da plan. So, sekarang just execution saja. So, the very first one is the science behind vaccine COVID-19 trust the shot. And to give the presentation and explain further about this particular topic, we have a very, very eminent person in the field of biotechnology. And she is Dr. Mahalishmi Arjunan. Fondly known as Dr. Maha, she's the Executive Director of the Malaysian Biotechnology Information Centre, MABIC. She also serves as the Global Coordinator for the International Service for Acquisition of Agri-Biotech Applications. Okay, this is an international body, you know, and she is a coordinator there. And she's the founder and chief editor of the Petri Dish, the very first science newspaper in Malaysia. And this is a very exciting, I've seen this myself and I think it's a fantastic publication. And uh, I think all teachers should really look into how you can actually subscribe to this magazine, right? Uh, Dr. Maha, of course, will take you through further about what Petri Dish is about and how students can uh, benefit from this wonderful publication. Dr. Maha is also listed as the world's 100 most influential people in biotechnology. Wow, you know, 100 most influential people. That's fantastic. Uh, and this is by the Scientific American Worldview 2015, right? She's also listed in the honorific list of women in biotechnology by the law and regulation as part of the Biotechnology Law, law Report 2015, right? Now, uh, I must say that she has a long list of uh, accomplishments and I would like students to be inspired because uh, Dr. Maha has actually is one of our champions for STEM education as well, right? So she loves to speak to kids and she can, uh, I mean, through her accomplishments, she can guide students in this field, you know, especially in biotechnology. So uh, like I said, we are very proud to have Dr. Maha as our distinguished speaker for our very first series of the forum, The Science Behind. Okay? So on this very important topic of vaccine, right? so we need to know how it works, what it is about in a very simple way so that all students can also appreciate what's being done okay? and, and the importance of addressing this pandemic. All right. So with that, I would really like to uh, invite Dr. Maha to, to take on your presentation, please. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ramesh. Thank you so much. And I'm so happy to be here. Good morning. Selamat pagi semua. Murid-murid, guru-guru. Now, uh, we are living in the age of pandemic. Dah lebih satu tahun kan? Tapi masih macam dibelunggu dalam pandemic. Tak dapat keluar, nak pergi vacation, tak boleh. Nak pergi shopping, tak boleh. Nak pergi sekolah pun tak boleh. Betul tak? So, mesti pelajar-pelajar uh, semua rasa macam terkurung di dalam uh, rumah. So now we have a solution and that is vaccines. So I'm going to talk about vaccines and why is it important? How does it work? A lot of people are so afraid of vaccines. Tapi ramai yang tak realize yang pada hari lahir kita, dari dah the first day we are born, we are already vaccinated. So in Malaysia, we have vaccination for so many type of preventable diseases. You know, the sad thing is there are so many diseases that we can prevent. But the, the thing is, we, there are still so many people who are so afraid of vaccine, tak nak vaccine. Jadi, yang apa yang boleh dielakkan, 
kita bawa ke, uh, kepada kita dan kita sebarkan kepada community kita. So that's very bad. What are the preventable diseases? For example, um, a chicken pox can be prevented, tetanus can be prevented, a TB can be prevented, diphtheria can be prevented, pertussis can be prevented. So kalau di Malaysia memang su- vaksin sudah ada untuk semua ni dan dari hari kita lahir uh, sampai uh, I think when you're 12 years old you are vaccinated ya yeah? dos pertama dos kedua so ingat tak masa uh, tahun 1 uh, uh, murid-murid semua divaksinasikan ya yeah? and then when you're in standard 6 you get another vaccination and then the girls when you're in form 3 I think you get another vaccination for H- HPV vaccination which will prevent um, cancer okay oh, for, for the girls so the cervical cancer so these are all so important tapi kenapa kita takut pada vaksin mungkin sebab kita tak faham macam mana vaksin ini berfungsi kita tak faham macam mana vaksin ini dibuat so that is what i'm going to do i will try to make it as simple as possible okay so we at the petri dish we started um, something called trust the shot it's a campaign so trust the shot shot to suntekan so we must trust the shot because it's all based on science there is no fiction there is nothing uh, and nothing else but science so and science meaning so much of research has gone into it so mr ramesh was talking about the petri dish the petri dish is the first science newspaper we had we used to have it as a print now it's online at the end of my uh, presentation i will take you through petri dish so we are running this campaign trust the shot so that we want more malaysians to go forward register in my sujatra and when their turn comes go and have the suntekan okay and i hope the children you are listening to me now end of the day when you you know when you talk to your parents uncle auntie nene datu tell them please tell them that they need vaccination and i will tell you why okay so let's move forward now A lot of you are too young. In fact, me, I have not seen smallpox. Ataupun dalam bahasa Melayu dikatakan cacar air. I've not seen smallpox. Smallpox is completely different than chickenpox. We all got chickenpox. I got chickenpox. Yeah. And chickenpox is like very small blisters, and then dalam tu ada air. It's it's and and after a week or so, you will become okay. Yeah. Most of us, we don't have to go to the hospital if we don't want to. You just stay at home, isolate yourself. Jangan sebarkan kepada kawan-kawan di sekolah. You will be all right. And if you get once, you are not going to get it again in your lifetime because our body will have rintangan terhadap Uh, chicken uh, chicken pox tetapi the small pox is something that's completely different nama saja small tapi bukannya small look at this boy here so this is called cacar air dan tak ada lagi di dalam dunia ini sebab it has been eradicated melalui apa melalui vaksin vaksin was the only solution So if you look at um, uh, smallpox there it uh, it becomes so big and it becomes so uh, it it can it can become very fatal and you know uh, 300 to 500 million lives were lost because of smallpox you see that was before we had vaccine so what happened was edward jenner then he noticed how smallpox can uh, uh, comes from the uh, you know it, it, the, the cow has got very similar virus so he Um, actually developed a vaccine from uh, taking the cow um, specimens and he used it for human beings so that was the that was the start of the modern vaccination but then vaccination is not new in as early as so many centuries ago the chinese were already uh, doing vaccination in a very traditional manner so the uh, the other one is polio now polio is another very very Uh, satu penyakit yang mengerikan you know why look at this man here now i travel so much i go to india i go to pakistan and places like that still has polio and i've seen how small children adults they are you know polio is something it's also caused by virus and it uh, affects our, ner- uh, our nervous system so bila saraf itu di uh, uh, ada uh, uh, ada apa implikasi then we cannot walk and then some people will have like the leg become shorter and then they have to walk like that for the rest of the life i've seen so many people and you see how many people uh, cases of uh, polio even 1980s you know not too far ago there were so many cases of polio uh, even 1980s 350,000 cases per year there is so many people their lifestyle is completely going to be disrupted 
you know, throughout their life. But all these things has got vaccines now. Smallpox completely tak ada lagi. Virus tu tak ada lagi dalam dunia ni. But polio, there is still polio. That is why we still take our polio vaccine. Yeah, because when we travel, then we don't want others to uh, um, infect us with polio virus. So these are the things. So how does vaccines work? Now, what is vaccine? So vaccine is satu benda yang boleh men, uh, meninggikan rintangan badan kita ataupun immunity badan kita supaya bila virus itu masuk ke dalam badan kita, then kita ada rintangan. We have our protection. So how does it work? So before how we see how it works, we'll see what how do how what, what is vaccine apa, apa dalam vaccine tu so bila dapat suntikan apa yang disuntik ke dalam badan kita so one is uh, it could be a weakened virus ataupun bacteria ada penyakit yang disebabkan oleh bacteria ada penyakit yang disebabkan oleh virus so penyakit uh, penyebab penyakit itu uh, uh, sama ada vex, uh, virus ataupun bacteria it is dilemahkan kalau dah lemahkan dia tak boleh menjadi dia tak boleh um, it cannot cause penyakit lagi so the virus um, is weakened or the bacteria is weakened ataupun dimatikan they are just like they completely killed killed bacteria killed virus that means killed microbes now tapi walaupun dia dah mati structure dia masih sama so these are taken of course further work is done and then when they are in uh, um, uh, disuntik dalam badan kita now remember i said the, they are dah mati ataupun dah lemah tapi structure dia memang sama jadi bila structure dia sama badan kita bila uh, uh, our immunity uh, cells all our you know immunity system sees this new thing in our body they will say eh boss kita dah diserang we have to fight so the army comes out what are this army all the white blood cell all the our 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 uh, uh, system darah kita memang dah ada immunity cell-cell tertentu yang akan uh, try to kill all this virus so all these cells will uh, will be activated and they'll say hey we have to something something dangerous is in, a, in in the body we have to fight it so they will be dirangsang and then what happens is they spark the immune response and start killing all these germs and by what by producing antibodies if you look at the slide you see the orange color here now you see the orange color the red color is the virus uh, we all are very used to looking at the virus now macam rambutan ada spike macam durian ada duri and then this are the, or the orange color is the antibody so these antibodies will be produced and the antibodies will will kill the uh, the the virus or the bacteria depending on what causes our um, our disease the the disease okay So what are the types of vaccine? That is only one type of vaccine. Sama ada penyebab penyakit itu dimatikan ataupun dilemahkan. Now today technology has um, has advanced so much so we have got many other types of vaccines. That is why you hear mRNA. Kalau DNA saya rasa semua dah tahu kan. We always use this word DNA kan. Oh football is in our DNA. Malaysians are good in football. So you know DNA is satu uh, bahan genetik keturunan why do i look like this why is my hair like this how tall am i what are the penyakit keturunan yang saya ada all that are determined by dna in our cell in our chromosome so now dn um, dna there's also mrna messenger ribonucleic um, acid okay so Now today, of course, uh, as I said, there is inactivated live attenuated vaccine. That means dah dilemahkan ataupun dah dimatikan. So this is a traditional vaccine. There are a number of vaccines in the market for COVID which are like this. So they contain either dead or weakened cell. And then tapi dah masuk dalam badan disuntik, memang dia merangsang immunity kita. Now the other one is as I said mRNA. And I'm sure all of you dah dengar dah kan mRNA vaccine. mRNA vaccine. Now what is that? So what the scientists do is virus just like macam mana kita ada bahan genetik dalam uh, uh, sel kita. Virus pun ada bahan genetik. Now bahan genetik itu untuk COVID bukannya DNA. Dia bahan genetik is RNA. So what the scientists have done, they have taken the mRNA, the messenger RNA yang akan membuat protein. So what happens is when the COVID virus enters our body through our nose, through our mouth, system pernafasan, the virus will go inside our body, use all our cells and mechanism, machineries to produce more virus. That is why the, the uh, masa dapat aja COVID, uh, COVID tu, kita rasa eh I'm okay lah. But after a week, dah lemah dah. 
fever, uh, cannot breathe and all those things. So it takes time. What, what is happening during the one week is the virus to mRNA to dikeluarkan and mRNA ini akan membuat virus-virus baru dalam badan kita then it becomes a, the virus load becomes very tinggi sangat sampai kita dah tak boleh nak buat apa, kena masuk hospital. So, what the scientist has done, they have taken this mRNA tapi you don't have to be afraid because mRNA itu satu chain for the whole virus, they've got so many, so many, the longer chain and yang buat virus code yang code itu kan macam rambutan yang buat macam-macam the keseluruhan virus but what the scientist has done they've taken katakan the chain is like that they've taken only one part of the mrna yang akan membuat spike protein you know spike protein you have seen the virus right the virus is like that and then ada duri duri so one of the duri tu hanya mrna yang tertentu boleh buat itu so they only took that so, bila mRNA ini disuntik ke dalam badan kita, badan kita tak membuat virus. Dia cuma membuat spike protein saja. So, this spike protein itself will be seen as eh, something dah masuk badan kita. Kena, kena, kena uh, what, fight lah. We have to protect the, the, uh, our body. So, our immune system is still triggered. Although it is not the entire virus, but only the spike protein. So, the spike protein now triggers our immune system and our immune system produces the antibody. So, this antibody now stays in our immune system. Bila kita keluar, bila ada COVID virus yang sebetul-betulnya and we dah nafas, we inhale it, now we already have antibody. Now, you see, it's so beautiful, isn't it? So, that is how uh, it, it works, the mRNA. So, the other one is a vector-based uh, vaccines. Now, what is vector? Vector itu cuma satu sistem pengangkutan. Okay? Now, in vector-based um, vaccine, uh, scientists tak gunakan mRNA. Scientists gunakan DNA. Jadi, virus itu memang tak ada DNA. So, this DNA is synthetically done in the, uh, in the lab so that this DNA can also produce the same spike protein and duri itu. But then, how to how to take how to bring in this um, DNA into our body? Kalau mRNA mereka menggunakan satu kod liposome macam kod lemah ya, ada kod lemah lepas tu di dalam ada mRNA. So for DNA, still we cannot just um, inject DNA into the body. We need sistem pengangkutan yang akan membawa masuk DNA itu ke dalam badan kita. So the scientists have used another virus. Tapi tak, tak payah takut sebab virus ini tak akan meng, um, um, apa ni? Uh, it cannot cause uh, penyakit untuk kita. It's called adenovirus and uh, from uh, from chimpanzee. Tapi virus ini memang tidak akan menyebabkan apa-apa penyakit uh, uh, manusia. Yeah? So, this adenovirus now dah dikosongkan. So, the adenovirus punya betul-betul gene dia dikosongkan. Jadi, itu semua kotak, kotak kosong saja. So, dalam um, uh, adenovirus punya semua sel itu uh, dah, 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 dah dikeluarkan. Sekarang DNA untuk COVID yang akan, menyebab, akan boleh membuat uh, spike protein dimasukkan ke dalam adenovirus. And this is used as a vaccine. Disuntik dalam badan kita and now the DNA will make the spike protein. Again, you see, this DNA only makes a spike protein. It doesn't make the entire virus. So, we don't have to be afraid at all. So, that is called vector-based vaccines. Now, there are other things as well. This is um, another, the, uh, scientists have taken another part, you know, another part of the, uh, of the virus. Again, you see, it's only part of the virus. So, uh, it cannot cause COVID-19. Uh, COVID, um, uh, so, this part, again, when it's disuntik dalam badan kita, badan kita terasa macam ada foreign matter, kena, we have to get the army to fight this new uh, foreign thing. So, again, immunity is triggered and antibody is uh, produced. So, you see, these are the types of uh, vaccines now. So, you might uh, want to know which are the things. So, uh, for Malaysia, uh, the Malaysian government is um, uh, procuring uh, AstraZeneca from UK. We have Pfizer from US. We have Sputnik V ataupun Gamalaya uh, from Russia. We have got Sinovac and Sinopharm from uh, China. So, these are the four types of vaccine that all of us, we might get one of it. We don't know. Yeah, We don't know which one we will get, but everything is completely um, uh, what researched very very well it's tested very well so what, whatever we get is good for us because we are we can go out now so the others Moderna is not going to come into Malaysia at least for now and then Novavax and Jensen Jens, uh, from Johnson & Johnson it's not Malaysia is not buying it at least for now so Pfizer is already there our frontliners have gotten it some of them a lot of them have gotten the two doses uh, and everyone is doing so well 
uh, we are waiting for the Russian vaccine. Uh, Sinovac is also here uh, and uh, our minister KJ has got uh, Sinovac and he's doing well. So, uh, so what are, uh, uh, so now remember I said viral vector, I said mRNA, I said vaccine and dilemmakan. So, let's see which is which, yeah. Okay, AstraZeneca is a viral vector. That means DNA, dimasukkan ke dalam kotak kosong, adenovirus and that is AstraZeneca. Moderna and Pfizer, Pfizer especially for us because we might be getting Pfizer uh, if there is still um, supply. So, Pfizer is an RNA virus. Uh, the one from Russia is a viral vector, again adenovirus. The one from China, one of it is um, the traditional vaccine which is dinya active kan. That means virus yang telah dilemahkan. The other one is, uh, is uh, Sinopharm. Is, uh, the other one is actually a, vi uh, a vi viral uh, vec uh, a vector. Uh, okay? So, these are the types of vaccines. So, you, we just don't have to be worried. And you know, all these technologies have been there for so long. Um, the vaccine for mRNA memang baru, tapi technology-nya memang dah lama, 30 tahun dah, dah scientists dah mengaji technology ini. So, we really don't have to be worried about all these things. So, are you new to vaccination? Are we new to vaccination? As I said, newborn. Bila kita lahir aja, kita dah dapat tuberculosis, which is TB, batuk kering. Yeah? And then we, we get hepatitis B, penyakit untuk uh, liver. And second do dose when you're in one month old. And uh, when, you're, uh, is, uh, sec when you're second month, second month bayi kan masih bayi lagi. First dose of diphtheria, tetanus, uh, and um, uh, whooping cough, influenza type B, and polio. You see? Belum pun dua, dua bulan dah dapat bermacam-macam vaksin and we are all here, healthy, right? And imagine if we don't have all this vaccine and your parents said, oh no, my children, I don't want to vaccinate them. Mesti, we, we, we would have gotten all these uh, uh, what um, diseases, kemungkinan tinggi sangat and a lot of us might not even be alive or we might have a, a lifestyle which is really, you know, very, very ill, uh, sickly lifestyle. So, when you're three months, again, you get some other vaccin vaccination, diphtheria, tetanus, uh, whooping cough again, the, the second doses. Huh? And then five months, other lagi, six months, 10 months, 12 months, 18 months, until four, year, uh, four months, some of them, only in, in Sarawak, I think this is not for us, they get Japanese uh, encephalit uh, encephalitis. And then seven years, when you go to school, you get it in the school. Pasti ingat tak? And then 13 years, is this is for the girls, for cervical can, um, uh, can, uh, cancer, human papilloma. And uh, again, when you're 15 years, you get another booster for tetanus. So you see, it's not new. But uh, suddenly, vaccine is like a, like a new word, oh, takut sangat. But it's not new. The vaccine technology has been there for very, very, very long. So we just don't have to be afraid of all these things. So vaccine in public health, you see how the success of vaccine uh, in kesihatan awam, diphtheria, which can cause uh, children to die. A number of children have, uh, have died in Malaysia because ibu bapa diorang tana vaccine. And you see, be, uh, because of vaccine, the cases have dropped 99%, almost 100%, just because some people don't want to vaccine, vaccinate their children. Whooping cough, which uh, can you imagine you're coughing and you are, you are really weak all the time. How can, do you want to study? How do you want to play with your friends? So that has dropped 95%. Measles, this is measles, they're chump up, 99%. Uh, so vaccine has really helped us to have a nice lifestyle. We don't, we can go to school, we can go vacation, we can be with our friends, we don't have to berkurung dalam, uh, di dalam um, uh, rumah. So vaccine has really been a you know, very helpful tool. So now, I, keep, I kept saying vaccine ni memang penyelidikan dia memang tersangat terperinci. So, uh, I'm a microbiologist. I've worked with virus, I've worked with uh, bacteria and it's really interesting. Although memang menyebabkan penyakit, tapi banyak bacteria yang bacteria baik, right? Okay, anyway, that's another story. But then, it's so exciting. So, let me tell you what happens after a scientist or a group of scientists feel like, okay, this vaccine, I have da, matikan, I have lemakan, ataupun I've taken the mRNA, ataupun I have masukkan dalam uh, vector, and I think it works well. So, what happens after that? You don't think it works well and then give your friend, hey, I think it works well, can I suntik you? No, it doesn't happen like that in science. It has to be completely tested for a, for a, for a, for a good period of time. So, what scientists do is in phase one, um, there are, that means you see, it goes under so many phases of clinical trial, yeah? This is what we call clinical trial. So, phase one, 
they will have volunteers who are healthy and this new vaccine is injected into them to see how are they. Do they have sakit kepala, sakit ini, sakit itu or are they, because that is why we want to see healthy people. What does it do to a healthy people? So here the vaccine is confirmed to be, hey, these people are okay after vaccination. So it is safe, so the safety is established. Now phase two, the volunteers increase, several hundreds, could be 500, could be 700, could be you know a few hundreds. Now these um, volunteers, now here they are seen if, what are the side effects, kesan samping and vaccine. And um, how is the immune response? Ada tak dia mengujudkan ataupun menghasilkan antibody? Like remember I said, the purpose is to create the antibody. Does it really happen? And what are the signs? Uh, does it um, protect against the protect uh, the the uh, diseases? So that all these are tested in phase two with few hundred volunteers. Now phase three, we need more volunteers, and this could be you know this could be berpuluh puluh ribu. That's why we don't have to be worried. So phase three is um, tested on a large number of people and also they, it must be a different ethnicity. Not just you, you test all with Malays because sometimes our genetics is different, right? So the way we respond is different. So it must be tested with different ethnicity races uh, to make sure that it really the Kasan Sampingan is not very adverse effects for all races, for all genetic makeup. And also the immune response is also at a high level for all races. So research, researchers here will see, is it working? Does it really give the protection? Ada tak kesan sampingan lagi? So, and with huge number of volunteers. And then finally, the phase four, the vaccines are already in the market. It's already being administered. Yeah? Suntikan semua dah buat kepada orang ramai. But still, the vaccine will be dipantau lagi. So the vaccine will be under surveillance, meaning are they, okay, all these people are vaccinated in, you know, outside, the real people. The, um, so what, is anyone um, complaining about any side effects, adverse effects or anything, or maybe they are not getting the protection. So akan dipantau lagi, and it is dipantau bukan oleh one country. It is like any country which says, hey, you know what, we gave this vaccine and it's got very uh, bad effect, it will be reported to all the other countries and all other countries will take safety measures. Or if it is really bad, the vaccine will be pulled back. Yeah. So this is why you see the phases really establish the safety of vaccines. So I really hope all of you will go and tell your parents, please, ma ayah, ama apa, and mummy, daddy, you know, tell them they must uh, be vaccinated. And you know why they must be vaccinated to protect all of you, because children can get uh, COVID. And if the parents don't bring back the COVID virus home, you are going to be protected. If your teachers are, uh, is, uh, are all vaccinated, your teachers can come to the class and they are not going to bring the virus and spread it to you. So that is why we want the adults to be uh, vaccinated because the children cannot be vaccinated. Bukannya tak boleh vaccinate because the, uh, we just got the vaccine and the clinical trial belum lagi melibatkan budak-budak kecil yang di bawah umur 18 tahun. So all the volunteers, remember I said all, all the volunteers, they are all adults. So we don't want to give vaccination to children who have not been tested. That is the reason. So, but the children can be protected if the adults are protected. If all of us don't bring back the virus, the children are going to be protected. Yeah. So please tell your parents, your uncle, your auntie, nene, datuk, semua yang, you know, they all have to, be, uh, they have to go for vaccination. So what, are, and, and there is also question, yeah, there is also question about how come this vaccine came out so fast. Satu tahun aja pandemic, terus ada vaccine, uh, vaccine. Because we are not living in the 1980s when the technology was still slow. Tak ada computer yang besar-besar yang can, can really sequence the gene and say which, I told you right, the, the sequence is, can be long. And which is the real part which produces the spike protein. Sekarang tak ada, tak ada sequencing machine, PCR is really, you know, everything is really top notch. So we can really do a lot of things in a shorter time. Yeah, so advancement of technology is there, so then now we can produce vaccines and uh, develop vaccine at a shorter time. The other one is those days uh, before the pandemic, if say I'm a, a scientist, I work on a vaccine for, for something, the investment, you know, science require a lot of funding. The investment is not large enough. So maybe I get my, my funding from my university and then from Ministry of Science and that's it. But today, so many organizations, agencies and even rich people were putting in money for COVID vaccine development because they, everyone wants to end a pandemic. 
Business is really uh, tergendala kan. So the investment, all the governments were putting in money. So the investment is there. So scientists sekarang tak perlu berfikir, where am I going to get my uh, money to do the next phase? Uh, nah. So those days, scientists will, have, most of the time, is also spend raising funding, dana untuk membuat penyelidikan. Now scientists, okay, you are giving the money, I have got no worry, I can spend my 24 hours to do the research. So investment is there. And also the other one is everyone is working together. Those days it will be like, okay, I'm working on this vaccine, I will do myself. But today because of pandemic is really mengerikan, everyone, the China government was really sharing all this uh, information that they got. US and everyone was sharing the information that they got so it could be also faster if not I will be doing something I keep it to myself and then you already may have an answer but you keep it to yourself and I still try to get the answer which is already found by you but today the scientists are doing it together uh, so many people are uh, not making the vaccine uh, what's that uh, the approval system faster last time they have to wait for the meeting or you know the committee is meeting next month to satu bulan tu tunggulah sampai committee to meet but now no it is we need it urgently so the committee is meeting at a like macam emergency meeting so all these things and we also have a large pool of volunteers who wants to be tested we have got a large pool of patients who can be tested so all these things are why the um, uh, we could come out with vaccine so fast now the other one is her, uh, i told you herd uh, immunity i'm sure you've heard about herd immunity immunity ataupun immunity kelompok what is it now the blue color are people who are like us belum di, uh, disuntik ya yeah? okay and if i get and if i come nearer to you you are going to get it so we can spread very fast but then if we are immunized that means the green color are immunized people now they are not going to get it now the red one are those who already have the disease but imagine if everyone becomes green except for budak-budak ya yeah? so that means we cannot i won't get the virus and you i cannot uh, i cannot give it to you so the more green color people the more the virus doesn't have a host ingat dia virus tu mesti ada tuan rumah virus is like a parasite it must have a, a tuan rumah tak ada tuan rumah on the table it will die after a few few days so if all of us are green this virus is going to die the virus on the, in the house is going to uh, die the virus on the tissue paper is going to die so it, because tak ada tuan rumah so the more green color the better it is and that is herd immunity okay so it is very important that when we uh, uh, make decisions kita nak buat keputusan nak dapat suntikan ke tak nak suntikan ke we make a science based decision don't go on to a emo emotional decision tak betul lah tak nak lah takut lah no it has to be science based and remember you see science is bringing the solution uh, mr ramesh was saying how exciting science is we see science today bringing the solution we see scientists and stem are bring you know other heroes and heroines so i really hope all of you will also think about science career uh, of course some of you might have other interests but that's all right yeah okay thank you so much and that is the link to the petrodish.my all right <clears throat> thank you so much uh, dr maha it's so very wonderful and so very enlightening you know uh, so many new terms but i think most importantly for us to understand is we got to trust the shot right we got to trust the experts. I think hearing from Dr. Maha, it makes it so clear. When we are born, we are already immunized. All right? And this is a major, major pandemic, uh, and if we don't address it. So it makes so much of si sense and the science behind it. Right? So I, I really hope uh, all uh, our students who have been following this uh, YouTube, uh, you can appreciate the importance of it. Uh, perhaps before I just go into one more session, I would like to ask Dr. Maha two questions, just two very simple questions. One is that um, how would you see the importance of science, especially since we are celebrating Mingu Science Negara, all right? Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, Mingu Science Negara is very important. One is because we want to have fun, but also because there's so much of career opportunities, okay? Peluang kerjaya dalam bidang sains amat meluas. So, and our students are not showing enough interest. In fact, that is one of the worrying thing and that's why Dr. Maha and us and so many, especially Ministry of Education, Ministry of Science, we're doing something to make sure our students are interested. So, I just want to like to ask Dr. Maha, what is her view with regard to career in, in science? 
Okay, I really think um, the STEM, okay, science, technology, uh, science, uh, technology, engineering, mathematics, whatever you choose, even ma uh, mathematics, it's just so fascinating and there's so much, uh, so many opportunities. And I will say the opportunities can be in Malaysia, can be outside, you know, we want scientists outside Malaysia, why not? So that we can collaborate with them. So for me, I don't think it's a bad thing to go uh, outside Malaysia. And that is why, say, imagine if I have a friend who is working in Harvard, I've got a friend who's working in Hong Kong University and then I can call her and I say hey look you know uh, I've got a student can I send uh, the student to your university uh, can we collaborate uh, I've got some funding can you put your funding together so I don't think it's a bad idea to uh, go overseas and work while waiting for Malaysia to build our infrastructure and resources but in Malaysia itself the opportunities are growing in all areas of STEM in my field even in science communication we see during the pandemic how important communication is uh, is so you know uh, so uh, and remember this uh, pandemic is not going to be the last in our life uh, li life uh, lifespan maybe for me i might live another 20 years and i might not see another pandemic i hope you will not see but in human history there will be another pandemic and it's not just a health crisis now today we have other crises climate change we have got food security and we have got so so many other um, other uh, ch ch global challenges and to me the answer to all these global challenges it lies in science and who is going to do the science we need people like you to come and be an engineer pharmacy biotechnologists mathematicians statisticians uh, we need people like you so there are a lot of opportunities in science all right thank you that's what i wanted to hear so much because peluang tu ada banyak it's just the minat, how interested you are. So you're very young. I think if you pay more attention, you've got wonderful school teachers who can guide you. All right. So Mingu Science Negara is very much about appreciating science. Okay, ke unikan, ke ajaipan science. And this year, the tema untuk Mingu Science is science for kesihatan. So we have to take care of our health. We have to convince our parents why it is important. Our grandparents, eh? You try to tell them, not convince, just tell them there is the science behind it. So that was what Dr. Maha has been uh, telling us about. Trust the shot. Okay. Uh, and my other quick question for Dr. Maha is Petri Dish. As I mentioned, it's a very in interesting publication. And we hope we can do programs or projects, you know, based on the information and the resources that she has gained over the years. It would be a shame if we can't use that effectively. So I just wanted to find out from Dr. Maha, is that how can schools benefit from Petri Dish? Okay, if I can share my screen, you see this is the Petri Dish, which is the first science newspaper. And what you can do, uh, teachers who are listening, please, I hope you could subscribe to the Petri Dish because we have got so many things. You know, now we are talking about HOTS, right? Um, higher order thinking skills. So we, if, especially for students, I would say go to SCOPE and teachers. Of course, you can read everything else. The young, elder ones can read so many things here. But for teacher, for uh, for uh, students, you see, we have got crossword puzzle. It's an activity. We have got nematode. All about nematodes. Have you thought about nematodes? What is it? What are nematodes? And then. Uh, do you know that our body has got gold in our human body? How many gram? How many microgram? So, you see, we have got so many things on science which are so interesting. So, I really hope that uh, teachers and uh, parents will subscribe to the Petri Dish. Talk to us if your schools, we have got different um, uh, what's, uh, uh, fee for schools. But uh, we also hope, you know, hoping to collaborate with uh, Mr. Ramesh, uh, STEM maker space. So we also have one tab called Yakini vaccine, ataupun, uh, as I said in English, trust the, trust the shot. So we are going to put a lot of vaccine information there on COVID especially, so that people are well informed. So please go to Petri Dish, www.thepetridish.my. Thank you. Thank you so much, <coughs> Dr. Maha. So Petri Dish, uh, like I said, is a wonderful resource there's plenty of information so i hope students who have been listening try to tell your teachers there's something very interesting there all right so with that we have all come to almost the end of our session but i think many of you have been waiting for the opportunity to see what happens next uh, firstly you have done a wonderful job i see there's more than 180 students who have actually uh, logged in and watched this video so what's in what can we do next my suggestion or my uh, advice to you is uh, participate in the quiz, right? So in my slide, I'll show you again about the STEM Virtual Olympiad. Uh, so if uh, Daryl can, uh, yeah, it's already on the screen. Now, 
Let me quickly tell you what this competition is about. Eh? So it's a daily competition. You log in, uh, you'll get a password. I mean, sorry, you will log in into the Google form and just fill in your particulars and immediately you'll be given a link uh, to come into the quiz. Right? And every day you have a challenge. Now, for example, what Dr. Maha mentioned, uh, she also mentioned about Petri dish. We have uploaded five questions into the quiz platform. All you need to do is answer the questions and uh, submit it. Then it will automatically grade and see who is the highest scorer for the day. Now, it is not just objective questions. One of the most interesting, if you can see in, in, the, in the flyer, we have also mentioned that plus we are tours and augmented reality challenges. Yang ni yang, uh, I find that it's most exciting because you can actually virtually visit certain places that is uh, off limits now, more so because of the uh, restriction, uh, movement restriction orders. Let me try to show you one of the places, you know, that we have done a 360 view. This is the National Institute of Biotechnology, Malaysia. All right, so yes, sir, when I do this, I'll have problems that I hope I can take you through clearly. All right, uh, let me go through this uh, Agrobio Institute. Um, Daryl, will, will you be able to see this? All right, switching over. Okay, great. So now you can see. Yeah? Now, this link will be in part of the quizzes. All right, when you join the quiz, there will be a link. All right, so you just have to click on the link and it will take you to the National Institute of Biotechnology Malaysia. Now, I'm very pleased because this is one of the initiatives that we had proposed to Mosti and Mosti says it's wonderful. Why? Because you can actually go to the institute and visit the equipment and the research and the projects that they do. So I'm going to take you through a very quick tour uh, and this is called the ABI, which is the Agro Bio Institute, okay, Agro Biotechnology Institute. Right? And if you go the landing page, it'll, it'll take you something like this. Let's say I take you to the lobby. Yeah? We do a 360 tour of the lobby, wherever you see, first the information comes up. So the quizzes may be based on wherever you see the eye. Okay? When you see the, the point I, um, you will be able to actually read about it and there may be a question that we post there. And that question is what you have to answer in the form. Okay, so let me close this and just take you around a tour and you, uh, make you understand and appreciate. So you see this is the lobby of the, agri uh, um, the NIBM and uh, you have posters. Let's say for example, when you see this flashing rate, you click on it and what appears? Wow, further information about the production of red seaweed. If we go to the next poster, what do we see? All right. Uh, here you have stevia and this is also a research that has been done by the National Institute of Biotechnology. So for those kids, uh, students, teachers who are interested more, we would like you to uh, pay a visit, okay, make a tour. What Lawatan 360 ke NIBM, right? So I go back to the main page. Uh, this is one of my favorite labs, okay? So um, tissue culture lab. Okay, so there's also a description of the equipments and all that. So if you need to find out more about, wherever you see a, a sign I, you click on it, what happens? Whoa, you can read about tissue culture. What's tissue culture and what do they do uh, in this particular lab? So some of the questions may be posed on this particular locations, right? Um, I go back to the main page. And I take you to here. Here you see a gallery of all the pictures. Now, when the, we were told to do this project, we worked, of course, with Fresnel Media, which is an uh, agent of Google Street View. And they have the expertise to do this kind of uh, 360 tours within a building. So uh, let me try to go to one of the tissue culture labs, which I thought was very, very fascinating. It's very futuristic, eh, where you grow all the uh, plant matter in a very controlled environment for research purpose, for testing purpose. So you can actually uh, look around and you can see what is being grown because the resolution is very, very high. So you can actually zoom, if I rotate it, I can see, uh, you can also see the signages, you know. Um, so you can see so all the plant matters being grown in the gel. So 
it is wonderful you can actually do a tour so it'll try to make this into a project by itself whereby maybe it could be a like a what do you call um, uh, we have a puzzle or a, a guided tour or something like uh, amazing race you go and you try to solve problems in various stations right so so this is one of the 360 view the, the other one that also comes under the the Malaysian Institute of Biotech and IBM is the Malaysian Genome uh, Genome Institute now here they do research on genetics right so if you go you, you'll see there's a video that gives an introduction to the Malaysian Genome Institute I'll skip the video but you can take your own time the link will be shared eh? so all you need to do is follow us on the various platforms you will receive a link and you you can actually let me try to see if I can increase the volume because it has got a very nice uh, tune to it as well all right so if I were to take you through So the information about the structural biology and x-ray uh, lab will appear, you read more about it, um, you see, see information, then the information about the equipment and the machine will appear. So I think this is a wonderful resource for school teachers where we can do a guided tour and also like an amazing race to solve the problems. Yeah? So um, that will be the end of the tour to the NIBM and um, we have lots of interesting questions that will be posed on these platforms. Okay? So with that, uh, I'd like to thank you all. We have come to the end of our program, Tiga Minit Lagi. And maybe in this last three minutes, I would like to show you a video on the Mingu Science Negara celebration, okay? Mingu Science Negara 2021. So, if we have it ready, Daryl, can we play that? We have it. Eh? All right. So, I will be signing off on behalf of STEM for All Makerspace. I would like to thank Dr. Maha for the wonderful presentation. Indeed, it was so very enlightening. You have made it so very clear for the kids to understand. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. And, thank you so much. Uh, yes, thank you, Dr. Maha. Right? And so, as we, uh, we also thank uh, Kementerian, Science, uh, uh, Kementerian Science, because this is basically a project or an initiative by Kementerian Science, Technology Dan Innovasi Malaysia to promote greater interest in science. All right? So, as we end, uh, please take a look at the video that was pre prepared by Mosti. Terima kasih, and uh, we look forward to you joining more of our events that has been plan and will be executed from today right up to the 7th of April. Terima kasih.